Marilyn Monroe documentary. Born named Norma Jean Mortensen on June 1st, 1926. Education, Van Nuys High School, Emerson Junior High School, Morris Knopfzi Actors Lab, and Actor Studio, New York, New York. <coughs> In 1947, Monroe, Monroe had been released from a contract with 20th Century Fox. She had met with Hollywood pinup artist Bruno Bernard, who photographed her at the Racket Club of Palm Springs, was at the Racket Club where she met Hollywood talent agent John Hyde. In 1948, Monroe signed a six-month contract with Columbia Pictures and was introduced to the studio's head drama coach Natasha Lightus, who became her acting coach for years. Monroe had soon cast a major role in low-budget mute ladies, of course, in bright spots and filmed and enjoyed moderate success during her silent Harry Cohn softened her voice to the overbite she had. Monroe had three marriages, all of which ended in divorce. The first was to James Dean Daughtry, the second to Joe McGillow, and the last to Arthur Miller. It is claimed that briefly married to the writer Joseph Bob Slatzer, who was alleged to have affairs with John and Robert Kennedy. Marlon Brando, in his autobiography, and my mother taught me, claimed that he had a relationship with her and that they had remained friends until her death. She also suffered two miscarriages and two uplifted pregnancies during her three marriages. In 1951, Monroe had enrolled at University of California, Los Angeles, where she studied literature and art and appreciation. During this time, Monroe had minor parts in four large budget films, Drama Hometown, Story with Jeffrey, Lynn and Alan Hell Jr., and three comedies, as young as Phil of Mountie Willy and Thelma writer Love Nest with June Harvey and Linda Green, Make It Legal with Claudette, Colbert, and MacDonald, all of which filmed on a low-budget film, became mildly successful. On June 5, 1962, LAPD Sergeant Jack Clemens received a call from Rock Monroe's psychiatrist saying that Monroe was found dead at her home in Hollywood, Los Angeles, where she was 36 years old. In a subsequent autopsy, 8 million percent of the chlorophyll hydrate, 4.5 milligram percent of numerous were found in her system. Dr. Thomas Taguchi of Los Angeles Coroner's Office said the death was acute, pre- resulting of the probate suicide. The end. Thank you for watching. Made by Taylor Nelson and Miss Morris, fourth period multimedia class. Bibliography: MarilynRow.com, Biography.com, Life.Time.com, and MarilynRowPages.com. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. Bye bye.